Thanks a lot, Hutch. Among the many additions the Reds made to the 2020 roster this year was to the starting pitching staff, where journeyman Wade Miley was signed to a two-year deal. The left-hander comes over from the Houston Astros, but has been somewhat of a journeyman as the Reds mark his seventh team in the major leagues. I had some success early and then, then rock bottom and then slowly started to um, figure things out a little bit. But this is, this is how baseball is. you got to find a way to stay on the even kill and just, uh, just keep coming and grinding and working every day. Miley won 14 games last year with a 3.98 earned run average, but his month of September was a disaster. In his five starts, his ERA was 16.68, and some say he was tipping his pitches. I was tired. I was very tired. September came around, and uh, you can say what you want about the tipping pitches. Um, there were some signs that said I was, but um, at the end of the day, I was I was pretty gassed. I didn't. Uh, I don't know if it was going from 2018 throwing 80 innings to getting up there around like the 160, 170 number again and uh, just kind of ran out of gas and stuff flattened out and it was just tough. Miley is excited to bring his veteran leadership to an already talented pitching staff. These guys are going to be good. I played with Trevor early in his career when uh, he didn't know how good he was um, and now I still I tell people all the time I think he's going to win a Cy Young before he's done his stuff's that, that good. Then you got Sonny Gray in the mix and just uh, looking forward to seeing Disco and, and, and some of these other guys and and just being a part of it and, and learning from them and maybe I can um, help them out a little bit as well. The big story around spring training camps across the country is, of course, the Houston Astros sign stealing scandal. Wade Miley, a former Astro, refused to comment. With the Reds at Goodyear, Arizona, I'm Jack Pohl. Hutch, let's send it back to you.